Hi, welcome to linear equation in two variables. This being a very short chapter, um, one session might explain help us explain uh, basics into it. You have already learnt about linear equations in two variables in previous classes. So herein we are taking up linear equation in two variables. Here the equation format the form of linear equation in two variables is a x plus b y plus c equals 0 where in this a b c they are all non-zero numbers <coughs> and can be uh, real numbers hmm? suppose uh, kind of an expression suppose given is 2 x plus 3y equals 4.37. Is this a linear equation two variables? Yes, because we can arrange this in the format above. So, it will be 2x plus 3y minus 4.37 equals 0. Similarly, if there is 2x equals y, how do we write this? we can write it as 2x minus y plus 0 which is actually c is equal to 0 hence this is also a linear equation in two variables one more we can take up is 4 is equal to 5x minus 3 so this can be written as 5x minus 3y minus 4 equals 0 so, any equation which is in the format a x plus b y plus c is actually equal to 0. Given a, a statement, we can also convert that into linear equation in two variable. I write the question which says the cost of a notebook is twice the cost of a pen. Write a linear equation in two variables to represent this statement. Now we have the cost of a notebook as well as the cost of a pen. We have to denote two different variables to explain these two notebooks and the pens. So, let me take that. Alright, let the cost of a notebook be x rupees or rupees x I forgot to write the rupees before x so kind of continuing with that rupees and the cost of a pen b rupees y it says the cost of a notebook that is x is equal to the cost of a pen so x is equal to 2y we have to write it in the equation so it will be x minus 2x plus 0 equals 0 or in a better way it is x minus 2y will be 0 that was quite simple now how do we find the solution of a linear equation solution of a linear equation can be of I think um, a linear uh, an, an unique solution it can also have no solution it can also have infinitely many solutions to it mm. so depending upon the type of expression we need to f find out if it has infinitely many solution it has no solution or it has unique solution suppose we are taking x plus 2y as 6. How do we find the solution to this uh, um, uh, linear equation in two variables? We try to substitute, if it is a trial and error method, we try to substitute x with a value, y with a value and then see if that is giving us a 2. Like if I directly look, I can see x, if, if I take x as 2, y as 2, that will give us a, a 6. 
Hmm. So 2, 2 can be one solution to this equation. Let us think of more. Like if x I am taking as 0 and y is taken as 3, that will also give us a 6. So 0, 3 is also a solution to that. Start again here as <coughs> we, <coughs> sorry, we got two solutions. And again, if I take y as 0 and x as 6, that would also give us the solution. So, this can have many solutions to it. So, one more I can think of will be, if I am taking, suppose, x minus 2. And, sorry, I need to erase it. And this as 4. So, that would also give us a 6. So, I can have many solutions. So, it will have infinitely many solutions to this equations <clears throat> now the question is how can this be achieved by the graphical method now if we move on to graphic representation or finding out a solution of linear equation in two variables <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> i'm real sorry uh, we'll see that I move on to another screen and I try to uh, explain that out. We'll make a Cartesian plane here. Just kind of a rough, not accurate figure though. Now suppose the question says draw the graph of x plus y equals 7. Let us make up table wherein we can plot those coordinates for the graph which I am drawing. take up small figures it will if i'm taking x3 y will be 4 if i'm taking x4 y will be 3 or if i'm taking x0 y will be 0 or if x7 y will be 0 in that case i'll just directly take these last two because that will be easier suppose this is 0 this is x7 and this is suppose y7 that means the point this and this if i join now any point any coordinate on this line will actually be a solution to the given equation that is how the we can you know find out the um, uh, we can represent the graphical uh, representation of linear equation in two variables. It's nothing much actually there in it. We now take up a question <coughs> and I draw a few Cartesian plane and try to make out what uh, equation is that representing. This is the line given this is the origin this point is suppose 1 2 and here this point or this coordinate is minus 1 minus 2 can we make out from this uh, graph the equation of the um, uh, linear equation what will it be if that means when x is 1 y is 2 when x is minus 1 y is minus 2 if you observe it carefully that means both the times y is twice of x that means y is twice of x we need to observe and locate and find out the equation by ourselves let's take another such question Oh, sorry. This is your origin. Hmm? A line pass by here. This point is given to be two zero. Here, this point is given to be zero minus four. Here in one more coordinate given that is 1 minus 2. This has been extended below here. And 
herein also there can be a point which is minus 1 minus 6 can we make out because see if you look at these four coordinates which are right here separately 2 0 1 minus 2 and this is 0 minus 4 and minus 1 minus 6 this is not like the previous one which could directly tell us if I multiply any of that with it if you so how do we go for this in inspection if I see though y is you know smaller than x that is quite observable <coughs> But how much is that low if you see you have to think it that way the gap is here a 2 here the gap is of a minus 3 here the gap is of a minus 4 here the gap is of a minus 5 so x is y minus minus x is this all mm. I need to have a common gap so twice of x minus 4 twice of x minus 4 yes if you observe see if I am multiplying 2 with a 2 and subtract 4 I am getting 0 so first one satisfied if I am again multiplying 1, uh, 2 with x minus, mm -hmm. that means this is y, ok, I will be getting y there, 2 into 2 minus 4, so to the 4 minus, so that is also giving me a y, now twice of x minus a 4, so it is again minus 4 which is y, so it is twice of minus 1 which is minus 2 minus 4, that is minus 6. So, what we are observing here is all the time y is twice of x minus 4. So, this is what we have to locate and make out by ourselves if what kind of equation is fitting in into the given uh, question. Okay, this is one I think the last part which will be left to us before taking a few uh, you know, questions will be equations of lines parallel to x axis and the y axis that means if I am drawing up a Cartesian plane suppose I am drawing up a Cartesian plane when I am getting a line parallel to y axis that means what in that case y was 0 ok here if I am drawing this line which is a parallel to the y axis that means herein it is all about x as some certain value suppose 5 I am just assuming it as 5 if it is x 5 and y 0 it will be a line parallel to y axis just the case opposite I need to draw a line parallel to x axis in that case how do we draw this line that means suppose this is y4 so if I am drawing y as 4 in that case x is a x value is 0 so I can draw a line wherein it is parallel to x axis that means the x coordinate is a 0 this is the basic one nothing more is actually there in the chapter linear equations into variables mm. We might just take up a few word problems which can be expressed in terms of linear equation in two variables in the next session. Thank you.